Hello friends, so I am going to be planting some potatoes. I know you might think it's too cold, but the ground is not frozen right now. It's workable, so you can still plant potatoes right now, even in the winter months, if the ground is not frozen. So I found some green potatoes inside the house and you don't ever wanna eat these because if you eat uh, a lot of it, you can get really sick. It contains solanine, which is a poisonous alkaloid since they've been exposed to light. So if you have potatoes inside your house, you might want to store it somewhere cool and also in a dark place away from direct light or sunlight. So anyways, going to be planting some Yukon gold potatoes that I found that were turning green and also are starting to sprout but that's okay they'll stay dormant until springtime when the ground warms up around late march they'll spring their spring they'll sprout and you'll get some um, summer potatoes so i'm going to be planting them again in some of these um, fabric pots and since i'm planting them early enough um, hopefully they won't dry out like they did last season because i planted some potatoes i think um, in June and it was so dry um, I didn't really water because I tried to conserve water um, that they didn't do so well so I didn't get that many potatoes but since we're planting them now for our spring and early summer crop I think we'll have a better yield so I'm going to be planting them in some just traditional potting mix and I actually mixed in some coconut coir in there already from um, last time I planted potatoes and I'm going to just amend it with some worm castings and that's it and leave them in the ground I'm going to bury them about four to six inches deep um, and then I'll mulch them again come spring and then we'll see um, what we get these fabric pots are 30 gallons each and I'm going to be planting three potatoes in each pot I've got six potatoes so it looks like I'm going to be using only two of these pots and I'm going to add some worm castings in there so we're going to be add a couple of cups of worm castings actually maybe three there we go we'll work into the soil and then we'll bury our potatoes so i'm going to go ahead and just uh dig a hole here i'm going to bury them at least four inches deep so I usually plant my potatoes whole, but you can cut them into smaller pieces. Just make sure each piece has at least two to three eyes. That way you'll have a higher rate of sprouting. And try to face up the eyes when you are burying them. Oop, I didn't do that with this one. So there's lots of eyes. You can see all those eyes. So I'll just face that up. Now we'll go ahead and just bury them. No need to water because we are going to get a lot of rain and it's cold anyway. So if you're planting potatoes in the fall and winter, you don't need to water at all. Unless you live in a um, very warm climate. So since I planted Yukon gold potatoes, they are a determinate type of potatoes, meaning that the tubers of potatoes will be growing at the same depth the potatoes were planted. So there is no healing needed. So meaning I don't need to add any more mulch or compost um, to heal the plant as it grows in the spring and early summer next year. Our potato pots are all set. Now I did layer a couple of inches of some coconut coir that I reused from tomato plants I grew last season, mixed in with some wood chips. So that layer of mulch will help suppress the weeds come spring, but also will help retain water because fabric pots do tend to dry out quicker. So anyways, I hope that you guys um, found this video helpful and enjoyed it as well. Would love to know if you are growing potatoes next season or if you plan on growing them, you can plant them right now if your ground is not frozen. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Have a wonderful day and happy gardening.